Ocean worlds. Have you ever wondered where we might find alien life in our solar system? It turns out, the answer might be hidden beneath layers of ice, in worlds called ocean worlds. These are moons and planets with liquid water beneath their surfaces, and they could be some of the most promising places to search for life beyond Earth. Let's start with Europa, one of Jupiter's largest moons. At first glance, Europa looks cold and cracked, but below that icy shell lies a deep, salty ocean. Scientists have detected plumes of water vapor erupting from its surface, which could mean there's a liquid ocean in contact with a rocky core, just like Earth's seafloor. This raises the exciting possibility of hydrothermal vents, which on Earth support thriving ecosystems, without any sunlight at all. Another fascinating place is Saturn's moon Enceladus. It's much smaller than Europa, but it behaves like a miniature ocean world. In 2005, NASA's Cassini spacecraft discovered giant ice geysers shooting out from its south pole. These plumes contain water, salt, and organic molecules, the building blocks of life. Enceladus might have a warm, global ocean beneath its ice, and the energy from tidal forces could keep that water in motion. Then there's Titan, Saturn's largest moon. On its surface, it has lakes and rivers, not of water, but of liquid methane and ethane. But deeper inside, beneath its thick, hazy atmosphere, scientists believe Titan also hides a vast subsurface water ocean. What makes Titan especially interesting is that its chemistry resembles early Earth, and it might even show us how life could begin under very different conditions. We're also looking at other icy bodies like Ganymede, Callisto, Triton, and even Pluto, which may have once had, or still have, hidden oceans of their own. Each one is unique, with different surface features, compositions, and thermal activity. Some of these ocean worlds are still geologically active, while others are frozen solid on the outside. But inside, they might be teeming with liquid water, and just maybe, something alive. Understanding these worlds also helps us study Earth's own oceans. NASA's ocean research right here at home teaches us how liquid water shapes climate, chemistry, and life, giving us better tools to explore oceans across the solar system. With future missions already planned to revisit Europa, Enceladus, and more, we're getting closer to answering one of the biggest questions in science. Are we alone? True or false, Titan's surface lakes are made of liquid water. Titan's surface lakes are made of liquid water. What key ingredient for life do ocean worlds often hide beneath their surfaces? Liquid water. Fill in the blank. Life as we know it requires water, organics, and blank. Energy Fill in the blank, beneath its icy shell, Europa holds a vast, blank, ocean. Saltwater Ocean
Which of these moons is known for spraying water vapor into space? Enceladus If geysers on Enceladus shoot water vapor at a speed of 1,200 meters per second and the plumes rise 300 kilometers high, how long does it take the vapor to reach that altitude? To calculate the time it takes for the plume to reach 300 kilometers, we divide the distance, 300,000 meters, by the speed of 1,200 meters per second. That gives us 250 seconds for the water vapor to soar through space from Enceladus's surface. True or false, Europa may have more liquid water than all of Earth's oceans combined. True. Fill in the blank. The icy geysers on Enceladus contain water, salt, and blank molecules. <laughs> Organic molecules. What makes Titan's atmosphere special? It's thick and nitrogen-rich, like early Earth's. Fill in the blank, Titan has surface lakes made of blank and ethane. Methane and ethane. True or false, Enceladus is larger than Earth's moon. False, Enceladus is much smaller, only about 500 kilometers in diameter. If water plumes on Enceladus rise 200 kilometers into space at 500 meters per second, how far do they travel in 400 seconds? To calculate the distance traveled by the plume, multiply 500 meters per second by 400 seconds. That equals 200 kilometers, the same height scientists observed from Enceladus's geysers.
Which planet's moons host most of the known ocean worlds in our solar system? Jupiter and Saturn. Fill in the blank, NASA uses Earth's blank to help study oceans on other worlds. Ocean. If a probe traveled 1.6 billion kilometers in 8 years to reach Titan, what was its average speed in kilometers per year? To find the average speed, divide 1.6 billion kilometers by 8 years, which gives 200 million kilometers per year. To convert that into kilometers per hour, divide by the number of hours in a year, that's 8,760 hours. The result is roughly 22,831 kilometers per hour, the speed needed to reach Titan across the vastness of space. How did you do? Tell us in the comments below. And thanks for watching Brainy Kids. We hope you had fun today. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you never miss a quiz. See you next time, Brainy Friends.